in the project. Now you ain't got no house without me. How many times in your life you get to pick out a house? Wait till you see it. It's got a little yard. It's got a basement, like a den. We can put the TV down there. I told myself, Brenda gonna like this. Wait till she see I brought her a house. No. You bought a den for Darnell. So you can sit down there and watch your football games. But what about the kitchen? What about the bathroom? How many windows does it have in the bedroom? Is there some place for Jesse to play? How much closet space does it have? You can't just surprise me with the house and I'm supposed to say, oh Darnell, that's nice. At one time I would have, but I'm not 17 no more. I got responsibilities. I want to know if it has a hookup for the washer and the dryer because I got to wash Jesse's clothes. I want to know if it has a yard and do it have a fence and how far Jesse has to go to school. I'm not worried about where to put the TV. That's not important to me. And you're supposed to know, Darnell. You're supposed to know what's important to me like I'm supposed to know what's important to you. I'm not asking you to do this by yourself. I'm here with you. We in this together. See, house or no house, we still ain't got no food money. But if you had come to me, if you had shared that with me, we could have gone to my mother, got the $80 for the house, and still had enough money for food. But you just did it all.